So today we're going to look at this particular question, which is outline how light energy is used and how organic molecules are made in photosynthesis. So the way that I'm going to approach this is by de first defining the key terms here, organic as well as photosynthesis. So photosynthesis, I've really quickly drawn out the equation, which is water plus carbon dioxide and light gives you an organic molecule called glucose as well as oxygen. The second thing we're going to do now is talk about organic molecules. And they are molecules that contain carbon, except there are a few exceptions. And these are carbon oxides of carbon, hydrogen carbonates, as well as carbonates in the self. And this is just a definition that you'll have to learn. Now we have to talk, get to how photosynthesis and organic molecules are related. And the key thing that will get you started is by talking about chlorophyll. And it's the main pigment associated with photosynthesis. How does this work? Chlorophyll is a green pigment. That means it reflects green light, which you see as the green um, in your eyes, and therefore it absorbs red and blue light. After, after this, this light that is absorbed uh, by the chlorophyll is used to split water. And after that, I've straight away put down a new line, which is that this particular process is called photolysis. Very important. Photo, photolysis means photo, light. Lysis means breakdown. And therefore, the water molecule is broken down into two hydrogens and oxygen. The hydrogen molecules are used to fix the carbon dioxide to make the organic molecules. The oxygen molecules later are now are then released as oxygen gas. And because of this, ATP is generated, and this ATP, or energy, is used to fix the carbon molecules to give glucose at the end. And that's how to do this particular question.